Good morning boys and girls. So today Isaac is going to be my helper and he is pretending to be a soldier in the Roman army and we're going to start with a game where we're all going to follow my commands. So we're going to start in one, two, three and march. Jump. <laughs> Turn. Jump. <coughs> Touch the floor. Touch the floor. Touch your head. <laughs> and jump. And march. And stop. Well done. So I hope you all enjoyed that little game. Now we're going to be starting our story. Today Isaac is going to play the part of a Roman soldier. An important Roman soldiers in Jesus's day were called centurions. Now some centurions were not very nice people. They were hard-hearted and didn't like the Jews, but the centurion we're going to learn about in today's story was different. This centurion had a special building made where the Jews could worship God. He really cared about his Jewish soldiers and the servants who worked for him and the people who lived near to him. Now, one of his best and favourite servants was ill. I need some help for my poor servant here. I think Jesus will help my poor servant. This servant was almost dying. So he asked some of the Jewish leaders if they would ask Jesus to help heal his servant. The leaders thought asking Jesus was a good idea. Jesus was talking to the crowds of people who lived in Capernaum. Please help this man, they said. He has been very kind to us. Jesus wanted the servant to feel better too. I want the servant to feel better too. So he set off to walk to the centurion's house. I will set off now. The crowds of people went with him to see if Jesus would be able to make the servant well. Do you think he could do it? Would he get there in time? Let's find out. When Jesus was almost there, some of the centurion's came, friends came out to meet him, bringing a message from the centurion. I am not good enough to have you come to my house or even come to meet you. When my commander tells me to do something, I obey. When I give a command, my soldiers obey. I know if you will just say the word, my servant will be made well. Jesus was amazed at the message the centurion sent and said to the crowd, I have not found anyone anywhere, even among my own people, with this much faith. The centurion's friends went back to the house and they discovered that the servant was completely well again. Oh, my servant, he is well again. Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus had made him better. Do you think the centurion was glad he'd asked Jesus to help? Yes, he was very glad. And all the people in his house were pleased too. None of them would ever forget the day Jesus helped them. So we need to remember... We can ask Jesus for help when, when we need it. And Jesus can help us wherever we are. And Jesus hears and answers our prayers today. This story is wonderful news. Can we see Jesus today? 
No, we can't see Jesus because he lived a long time ago on the earth and he's in heaven now. But just like the centurion, we can ask Jesus whenever and wherever we need help. So this week you need to look at pages 11 and 12 in your book which tell us tell you all about the Roman centurion and the healing of the servant and I want you to think about when and where might you need Jesus to help you this week maybe at school nursery maybe at home have a think, have a talk with your mummies and daddies and then you can pray that Jesus helps you in these areas this next week.